Okay, so I skipped the intro, cause, um... I uh, still lagging, huh. Well, yeah, it was lagging to crap during the intro, and I thought getting out of the intro would fix it, but I guess not. However, this game is kind of slow paced, so I don't think it should affect gameplay that much. Now, for actually choosing a map, I am going to leave it up to blind luck. I'm going to turn my head here in a second, and just tap keys randomly. Let's see where I end up. Be right back. Here, okay. This is technically the easiest map to, and from my, from what memory serves at least. Of course, I was a dumb kid, so who knows? This might be the hardest, and everything else is super easy, and I just didn't realize it. I am not. Oh, hey, this guy. Can't really read what you're saying, buddy, but I remember you. You're like the good guy slash bad guy stereotypical thing. You're also the tutorial, so I guess this is where you're supposed to start, technically. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll explain it all. Alright, I'll do the talking. This is my let's play after all. Oh. There we go. So, you hit A to drop a bomb. You could run into it to kick it. You could also double tap A to do it. Uh, the fire thingies you pick up, they give you bigger bomb explosions. The bombs give you more bombs to drop at a time. Gyms do their their points. <laughs> That's all I know. Their points. These guys are awesome, but don't walk into them because they will kill you. In one hit, at that. It memory serves. Though I don't really want to test that. Uh, how do I pick up arms again? B and A? Yeah, B and A. Then B throws again. Don't throw very far, apparently. If you pick one up and then tap A like a wild man, you can charge it, and then you get a big bomb, which, wow, smashes enemies. Didn't know that either. So, I will eventually be doing, getting all the golden things. Oh yeah, these things, if you hit them enough times, it blows up. Um, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Some enemies just knock you out, they don't kill you outright, and that's good. I think there's an abundance of those in this, uh, level. Part of the reason why it's so easy. Also, the boss is darn easy, too. You know, I, I'm fearing the glacier level, just for the final boss, really. I, I remember having a really hard time with that boss. But uh, then again, I was a dumb kid, so we'll see. Did I just hit my arm? I did. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh, two come out. Okay. Hmm. Here's one of this level's gimmicks. These weird doors you have to open up by exploding something in front of its mouth. And it eats you, and swallows you, and takes you to the next area. Um... Really, I could end this level right now, actually, I think, by just going up here and doing something. Maybe not. Maybe I have to go do something. I don't know. Oh, I think I have to hit these glowy thingies. No, I don't think I have to bomb them. I think I just step on them? Yeah. I'm slowly remembering this. Slowly. Lag's really not that bad. It's quite bearable, actually. How do I rotate camera? Oh, okay, C buttons rotate camera. This game is still highly a puzzle game, too. Oh, crap. Um, so there's a lot of stuff you have to worry about. Like, uh, these things here are on pillars that are... They could explode if you hit them with a bomb or something. Um, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I'll just... I'll explain when I get to them. Because I don't really remember most of them myself. Those things, if you hit them with enough bombs, explode, as I said earlier. I don't remember how many they take. Or maybe they require the big bombs. I don't remember. Or red bombs, I mean, not necessarily big bombs. 
Oh, I killed that thing. I'm going to assume they require. Oh, hey. They require the red bombs. That's two out of four. Now let's get four out of four. Exploring. Okay. Ah, oh, robot bombs. Ah, oh, these things. These things are great. See, they don't go off on a timer. You have to hit V to explode them. Quite useful. Damn. Quite fun. And they're also good for puzzles such as this. Which... I... can't rightly remember how to do this puzzle, to be honest. Oh, well, that was a waste of a bomb. And now it's lagging. Go and run, ooh. I think I did this correct. No, I didn't do this correctly. Got the bomb here. Okay. You can bounce off bombs like this, like this, to get here. And I don't think I need to bounce off a bomb. Actually, yes. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember how to do that. But I think all I get from that is a heart piece, anyways. Um, a heart piece just gives you, uh,. An extra hit, basically. That's about as well as I can put it. You get hit once when you have a heart piece, and um, you you lose the heart piece, but you can take another hit afterwards. Otherwise, it's just one hit kill, no matter what. We got three out of four so far, and I believe the other one is actually over here. I think I remember where it is. Mm, this thing respawned. Yeah, I think it's got to do something with this. Uh huh. Yes, I remember. There we go. Now, with the grades off, we could go up here. Alright, and then, yep. There we go. Now, this pink crystal is the end of the level. I have to go grab it to end the level. As that arrow kind of like points out. Haha, <laughs> arrow, point, duh. <laughs> Anyways, bad jokes aside, um, that blue thingy up there is a teleporter. That's about it all. all I can remember about it. <laughs> Don't really know much more than that. Um, when I'm doing the all gold card runs, I'll demonstrate them, I'm sure. I don't know if I actually get to use them legitimately outside of the golden card stuff, though. And there we go, stage clear. Yeah. And now we unlock stage two, which should be flashing because this is on an emulator. It's not. It's that little tiny square thingy in between the first small thing and the second really large thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll do that next time though. Because right now, this is Desiwell signing off. Till next time. See you later.